The year 2021 marks the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks in New York City. And one of the items of media released to coincide with this is a Netflix release named Worth. It might be a simple title, but the subject matter is far from it. Here's the movie's official blurb. Our national tragedy, their personal suffering, his impossible task. Kenneth Freiberg, a powerful DC lawyer appointed special master of the 9-11 fund, fights off the cynicism, bureaucracy and politics associated with administering government funds and, in doing so, discovers what life is worth. Note that there are some spoilers ahead if you haven't seen the movie, but that said, also note that there won't be any surprises if you're familiar with the real events. The film stars Stanley Tucci as Charles Wolfe, who took issue with the fund, along with Amy Ryan as Camille Byros, the business partner to Michael Keaton's character Kenneth Feinberg. Wolf, Byros and Feinberg are real people and this story is based on true events. In the wake of the attacks, the government set up a fund to provide compensation to the families of those that had died. It was seen by some as generous, by some as an attempt to avoid lawsuits, and by some as a despicable attempt to put a dollar value on human life. That was where Feinberg came in. As an expert in mass tort action mediation, Feinberg was tasked with coming up with a way to allocate the money to the families. Given the highly emotionally charged situation, you can imagine that a film based around this would have the potential to be quite deep and moving. That was certainly what I expected going in to watch this. Afterwards, though, I couldn't help but think that it was missing something that I couldn't quite put my finger on. Keaton is excellent, Tucci's great, and Ryan brings some real depth to the cast, but it just kind of felt empty and didn't engage me as much as I'd expected. I guess it had something to do with the film not giving you enough information. Yes, we have some moving stories from the families, a lot of which were real stories, often shared on screen by the actual family members. But what we never see or have explained is the matrix calculation that Feinberg was using. And the formula was one of the main things that annoyed the families. So it's an important part of the story. But we never see it or have it explained. Likewise, when it was adjusted later, once again we never get to see the workings of it. And this was a missed opportunity, in my opinion. This new approach and calculation was a key turning point in the story, but we never get to compare the two and go, oh wow, what a clever slash genius slash fair way of doing it and overcoming the conundrum. Likewise, when the change in approach happened, I wanted to see examples of Feinberg applying it, how he approached each claim individually, but instead, all we get is just one brief throwaway, one-ended phone conversation. So for me, the film did a good job of capturing the raw emotion and anger that was running through the nation in the aftermath of the attacks. But on the opposite side, the conflict between Feinberg and Wolf wasn't explored in any great depth, and the film takes too much of a bird's eye view of the events. Overall, the movie interested me and I enjoyed it but it's not the kind of movie that I was still talking about days later.